<gasps> oh! Oh! Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Move the chair. Move the chair. Move the chair. Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Mary and today I am watching another Clint Eastwood film because I loved Gran Torino so much if you haven't seen my Gran Torino reaction yet go check that out beautiful film if you haven't seen the movie Gran Torino watch it that's all I can say no further comment I'm not going to spoil it for you but it's amazing million dollar baby in the past i wasn't really open to watching million dollar baby because it's a sports film but the rocky franchise has kind of opened my eyes as to why i probably shouldn't be prejudiced against a genre of film because it might actually surprise you now i know hillary swank is in this and i actually really like hillary swank except i don't think i've seen a hillary swank movie i know of hillary swank just because she's a celebrity and i also watched the episode of the office where they're debating as to whether Hillary Swank is hot or not. I think she's hot. <laughs> Just adding my two cents out into the world. But yeah, this film was released in 2004. So I've heard of this film. I've known about it. I just have never seen it in my life. And I'm here to do that today. But before we get into it, I want to remind you guys about the uncut version. That's going to be over on Patreon. The link for that is in the description bar and in the pinned comments down below. You just need a copy of the film so that you can watch it along with me. There is a timer so that we are watching it at the same time. Down below in the description bar, you can also find all of my social media handles. Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. Did I miss anything? Probably. All of it is down below as well as my two channels, my vlog channel and my gaming channel. Gaming channel is pretty new, but I've just finished The Last of Us and hopefully getting into, I don't know when this video is going to come out, but hopefully getting into Detroit Become Human pretty soon on there as well. So anyway, with all of that said, I think we're ready to jump into Million Dollar Baby. <laughs> Boxing, here we go. Only ever met one man I wouldn't want to fight. Oh, there's Clint Eastwood. Ugh, <laughs> yuck. I don't want to see that. To work, everyone. <laughs> People love <laughs> violence. Not me. I owe you money. No, sir. <laughs> Thought you might be interested in training me. I don't train girls. Maybe Women. People see me fat, say I'm pretty tough. Tough ain't enough. He's gonna regret it. I already know. What did Hogan want? Offered us a title shot. Oh, title Turn shot. Him down flat. What? No, oh, didn't strike me as a religious man. You know what I want? There's no use me repeating myself. <laughs> Church of St. Mark. I noticed Maggie had a cross on as well. You're standing outside my church comparing God to Rice Krispies. That's blasphemy. Reason, does that make him a demigod? There are no demigods, you fucking pagan. Whew. Holy shit. That's a sin, dude. You know what? Take a day off. Don't come to mass tomorrow. Wow. Maybe he ought to find a new church. I feel like he would taunt the next priest as well, though. That guy does not look like a fighter. Oh, all right. <laughs> you know, hey, Jay Baruchel. Wow. Well, that's nice to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Flip, shut up, man. You ain't even oh, right. the new oh, Captain oh, America. Hey, no, Falcon. Why can't you just buy the cheap stuff? It smells better, Frankie. Bleach smells like bleach. It's true. I'm with Frankie. Danger has a lot of energy. What's up, they got? What the hell kind of language is that? Learning a new language, or you always knew Gaelic? Not just any manager. Mickey Mac. Mickey Mac. Sounds like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Who's your new girl? What? Maggie's back, maybe? <laughs> He's like, I don't train girls. <laughs> That's got him out. You don't hardly need a dozen, boss. You'll do fine. Don't call me boss. If I stop calling you boss, will you train me? No. <laughs> then I might as well just keep calling you it. <laughs> she, came, she grew up knowing one thing. She was trash. Oh. Oh man. Poor oh, girl. Oh man. That's so sad. I mean, she talks a pretty big game. She's pretty shit. <laughs> How much did she pay? Six months. Wow. And what's Danger doing out there? What's he looking at? He's so involved with the people inside. I can't afford pants. Want him to pay dues? Get out of my office. <laughs> Frankie's all business. 
Scrap has a heart. She's still there? Scrap won't be able to help himself. He's gonna go over there and encourage her anyway, I bet. You get this down, we'll put you on a speed bag. Oh, he's sweet. I'll walk out with you? No, oh, I am home. This is his home? Yeah. He's so cute! I love this man. Would it bother you much if I worked a little longer? Just pour the door closed when you leave. Super sweet. Morgan Freeman just gives me such warm vibes. Anytime I see him in anything, I just feel warm. I feel fuzzy. If there's magic in boxing, it's the magic of fighting battles beyond endurance. I think she's got the endurance down. She just needs the skill. <laughs> hey, Flippy, come here, man. I think I found somebody you can beat. Oh my god. Oh, They're assholes. Like man, look at her little bitty titties. They're like mosquito fight. Wow. Saw your last flash show, real. Spent so much time face down, I thought the canvas had titties. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Take that. Hey, look at me. I'm Shaw Rail. <laughs> On the floor. <laughs> you deserve it, Shaw Rail. I'll give you a rub. That's what she said. Sorry. She looks like she's got something. <laughs> she's got my speed bag. That's what she's got. I wonder how the hell she got that. <laughs> These two. People will think I'm training you. Is that such a bad thing, Ma? <laughs> yes, yes, it is. But the only trouble is they're going to be wasting your time because you're too old. Too old? It takes about four years to train a fighter. How old are you? 31. Oh, wow. I didn't Boy, know. She looks young. Ballerina. Somebody's got to be honest with you. I hate to be the one to tell you the truth. <sighs> Sorry for using your bag. Keep the goddamn thing. No, you need it. No, take the bag. Oh, that's nice of him. Just don't lose it. That's disheartening to know that it takes four years to train. That know. would make her 35. Hey, Willie. Hey, Frankie. Willie is here, Sorry. obviously, to hey, announce that oh, he's yeah. leaving. I also needed to talk with you about business. Here we go. Yeah, well, I, I, I gotta leave you, Frankie. Knew this was common. So I get to the title fight, and this guy takes you there. Ouch. He can't teach you nothing. You already taught me everything I need to know. Oh. At least he was nicer. Not like Tommy Guns in Rocky V. At least he was respectful. Danger, you throw a punch, you get the hell out of this gym. He can't even throw a punch. He also talks big game. I think no one had the heart to tell Danger. And her hands retired years ago. Fear, man. Oh. That's so Dope. funny. I heard about Willie. Well, at least I can see through both eyes. Mm -hmm. Didn't do you a lot of good, though, did it? <laughs> he didn't see it coming. Well, I found him. I stuck with him for eight years. Eight How's years? I was tired of fight two years ago. I'm amazed he stayed around this long. Right? You were protecting him from the championship. Yeah. Well, now it makes sense. <laughs> and excuse me if I didn't want my fighter spending the second half of his life cleaning up other people's spit. <laughs> That's I cold. You the one learning Greek. It's Gaelic. You just <laughs> protected yourself out of a championship fight. How do you say that in Gaelic? Sometimes you need to hear the truth too, bud. Aw, she got a tip. That's lovely. Aw, she bought it. Oh, I'm happy for her. Wow. Wow. He did it. You know, I'm happy for him. He stuck around for eight years. That's wild. He's like, who? What? what is going on? It's her birthday. I bet it's not. He's just covering. How old does that make you? Oh, 32, oh, it is. It is her birthday. The problem is, this is the only thing I ever felt good doing. If I'm too old for this, then I got nothing. Is that enough truth to suit you? Damn! I got goosebumpies. I'll show you a few things. Mm. And we'll get you I've seen you looking at me. Yeah, out of pity. <laughs> I say that. <laughs> Don't you're not interested, then I got more celebrating to do. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> God. <laughs> you do. I take you on. I promise I'll work so hard. God, this is a mistake all <laughs> Get your teeth knocked out. I don't care. <laughs> I don't want to hear about it either way. That's just the way it's gonna be. He's tough. 35 minutes in. Now, She's making progress. I what I do wrong? You did two things wrong. One is you asked a question. <laughs> two is you asked another question. Now, what I want you to do is not about hitting. 
You know, I love to see him making money. I love stories where people just pave the way for themselves despite their upbringings, despite where they came from. And that's exactly what she's doing. And you really need a lot of faith in yourself and you need self-motivation in order to do that. And when you don't have that encouragement from your family, that's fucking hard. Rest when you're dead. Rest when you're dead. <laughs> Got any family, boss? She's getting personal. <laughs> it's been... Well, I've got a daughter, Katie. We're not exactly close. How much she weigh? <laughs> That's a weird question. <laughs> Used to be real athletic. Don't know if she kept it up. That's sad, but he doesn't know. Sally here is a real good manager. Good for a girl, Sally. I'm looking for a good one. Wow, it's just shooing her off just like that. That was quick. It was so just so, so sudden. I thought they would have more time together. Because I think you're ready for a fight. Oh. Oh, that's nice. She doesn't seem super happy. I guess maybe she thought that he wasn't being true to his word when he said that, oh yeah, I'll train you for a little bit and then we'll look for an actual manager for you. Oh, nice. Oh my gosh. I've actually never seen female boxing before. This is the first time. And he's, nice he's watching actually. Jeez. Your laughs, keep your left up. I don't really know about technique. You're left, damn it. I don't think she can hear you, bro. He thinks he can hear you from back here. <laughs> That's what I said. Ooh. Sally's trying to set a fight with Adagio. <laughs> he can't help himself. He can't help but get involved. It ain't fitting her well, Sally. You can't fight worth a shit anyway. What? Sally, tell me what's going on. Sally was just subbing for me. Oh. You're telling me this is your fighter? Yes. Say yes, bro. Come on. Yeah. My fighter. <laughs> Look at that smile. Biden says, "Hey, Oof. I'll take it from here." Damn, you know, sis. <gasps> the way he's smiling. He was proud. He was super proud. Oh, so proud of her and him. A place you work. Do they have homemade lemon meringue pie? There? Yum! Now you're talking my language. That is actually my favorite dessert. Oh, oh my god. He's like, fuck. Where are your shoes? You got big holes in your socks. How come you're wearing them in the daytime? Because my daytime socks got too many holes in them. Oh my god. This is a funny dynamic that they have here, but I think that they need each other. They balance each other out, uh, Scrap and Frankie. Ooh, boy. Ooh, shit. Maggie, so much improvement. She is really protecting herself. She's doing amazing. Yo. She is a quick learner, guys. Another four rounder. Wow. Look at the crowd. They're going wild for her. <laughs> I love the way she dodges. <laughs> After that, no manager wanted to put his fighter in with Maggie. Right. Frankie had to go into his pocket to get a decent fight. <laughs> Wow, good on Frankie. That's really kind of him, actually. You moved her up in class. Oh, that at least it's giving her a little bit of a challenge. She is moving so much. Oh, ouch. Ooh, far out. Look, I can snap it back into place, but I can't stop the bleeding. Please, Frank, if you can stop the blood, I can beat her. Oh, bro. Oh, man. Oh, just the sound effects, too. Mm. Oh, this is gruesome. I don't want to see this part. <laughs> I can beat her. Ooh. Damn, girl. She's got resilience. She's got endurance. That's always been with her. I'm so proud of her that she kept going. I want Clint Eastwood to be my grandfather. Is that weird? I lost both my grandfathers, so I don't think it's weird. Margaret Fitzgerald? 
Does she even have the money to pay for this? Broken nose don't hurt that much. Why are you telling me that? <laughs> I love Scrap. Did you write your daughter? Every week. Every week. Still no hasn't heard from her. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so quick. Billy was a former prostitute out of East Berlin. Oh. Had a reputation for being the dirtiest fighter in the ranks. She knows how to rough off men, maybe? He turned it down without even telling her. The next was to find the British champ. Maybe he'll say yes to that. Visit. What? How are you he not interested? What are you doing? Don't make the same mistakes money, that you'd made with Willie. You protect your face a little better. I wouldn't have to turn down this money. Face out there so much. It's a miracle I haven't been knocked out yet, boss. She manifested him being her boss, and I love that. Made us a reservation. I want a shower. Reservation to a restaurant? Well, ain't no big secret what you're wishing for. Born and blow. So cute. Three to three old. Oh, it's been a year. How's it going, Scrap? That's doing good, Mickey. Mickey the businessman. He's talking about throwing in a towel, but he ain't my manager. He can't throw in nothing. Next morning, I lose the eye. That's why he's like that, because he feels responsible for Scrap. You tell Mr. Mac we'd be here tonight? She's starting to understand. She was going to leave, Frankie. Better she did it to him then. Yeah, at this age. But I thought you should know I ain't never leaving Mr. Dunn. Oh. You don't need to make any more excuses to bump into me. <sighs> wow. Holy shit. I did not expect her to do that. Maggie always did like taking him out in the first round. Ha <laughs> How? I thought he was going to lose another fighter. The letters always came back marked the same way. Return to sender. Return to sender. Ah, that's so sad. I wonder what he did to his daughter to make his daughter hate him so much. What are you doing with your money? Saving it. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> what is it? It's a tape on that girl in England you're gonna fight. If you're gonna go for the title, we wow. got to lose the Oh! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that was so wholesome. Oh, I got goosebumps too. <laughs> I love her excitement. Her enthusiasm is contagious. Wow, they're in London. Ten minutes, love. Thank you. Ten minutes, love. I win, you think you'll propose? You win, I'll propose. <laughs> this is it. What's it mean? I don't know. It's just something in Gaelic. You know what it means. Beautiful. I thought so. That's so nice. That's so sweet. They're definitely filling a role for each other. What does it mean? A kush. I don't know what it means. Nice. She's stopping so many of the hits. No kush there. I keep saying it. Well, they can't really call her Maggie Fitzgerald. She's younger, she's stronger, and she's more experienced. What are you going to do about it? Gotta fight harder. Gotta be strategic. Come on. You got this. Ooh, nice. Oh, she down! Oh, is she gonna get back up? Oh, she tried. She tried to get back up. Her body was like, no, we staying down, sis. Makushla, Makushla, Mak. I love these two. Makushla. By the time they came back to the states, Maggie was in a whole new league. Wow. Ooh, Makushla, Makushla, Makushla. After that, they got another offer to fight for the title. Please say you took it. That little house we talked about, I bought it. <gasps> really? Oh. For my mama. Oh. Where... Oh, that's real sweet of her. That's real cute. Don't know cute. about it yet. I was hoping maybe we could stay an extra day. I know she wants to meet you. No. Yeah. We could do that. That's so nice. That's sweet. Just wholesome. Just such a wholesome movie. Mama, come on out here. Mary M's here. Mary M. It's all yours, Mama. For it's you, so Bardale, sweet. Katie. That's sweet. No fridge. No stove, neither. How ungrateful is this lady? Why don't you just give me the money? You want the money? Sell it. Damn, that was very ungrateful. Find a man, Mary M. Live proper. Hurts me to tell you about that. They life that you. She's successful. Very, very strange. And he barely talked to her. Like she said, oh, my mama really wants to meet you. And they didn't even say words to each other. 
Oh, cute girl, cute dog. I got nobody but you, Frankie. Well, you've got me. At least that is until we find you a good manager. <laughs> Stop saying that, bro. Come to Vegas with? My heart can't take that kind of pounding. <laughs> She's got a title shot. The Blue Bear. A million dollars split right down the center. That's amazing. Split, You're not going to cry now, are you? I've already got one girl. Oh, my God. I leave his place for one day. Got any idea what it would look like when I come back? Kind of like it looks right now. <laughs> go to hell. <laughs> How'd you get all the ice and hair through this little tiny hole? Oh my! Is he serious? I, think I was kind of thinking I might be ready for a fight. Oh my gosh! He's delusional. Fly there, drive back. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. How the hell are we gonna do that? It was up to me. Yeah, if they fly, where? How are they gonna do that? That doesn't make sense. Hey, old school. Toilet overflow. God, I hate that guy. Ugh. Uh, Lord. <gasps> oh, more danger. More danger. Oh, no. Why are they doing that to him? It's not a bear bite. It's not equal. What the fuck, dude? What's the matter with some people? How did, how did I do, Miss Scrape? You did good, Danger. You did real good. Look at his oh, face. On, Flip, man, you ain't done. You ain't even fight good yet. What an asshole. Come on, don't take the gloves off, man. You ain't even used them, Danger. Matter of fact, Laura, this Danger. Oh, is he gonna oh, fight him himself? Now nah, I get the fight and an old man. <laughs> oh my God, he's unbearable. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. All right, man. <laughs> Oh shit! He still got it. Hell yeah, Scrap! Oh, he lost a tooth. <laughs> yes. Get a job, punk. Yes. Danger's dreams just instantly crushed. I got you some pipers. Oh, that's cool. Wakushla, Wakushla. Oh. She looks scary. The sinister music doesn't help. Oh my god. The challenger, Maggie Fitzgerald, in the red. Woo! <laughs> God damn. Oof. Mm. One point deduction off the blue point. Okay. Oh my god. How is that allowed? She wasn't even up yet. Damn. She down. Ah. <laughs> uh. Why does she keep doing that? Eyes are blowing, boss. How many eyes you need to finish this fight? One's enough. One's enough. It's happening all over again. But you keep yourself between the ref and the bear and everything will just be fine. I'm worried. She doesn't have a single scratch on her face. Damn! Fuck! Right in the ass, actually! Holy shit! Oh my goodness! Whoa! Oh shit! Holy crap! Oh, she mad! <gasps> oh! Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Move the chair! Move the chair! Move the chair! Motherfucker! Move the chair! Oh! Dark, tragic theme playing. Oh my god. Oh my god, I am shocked. Come on. I am stunned. Her career. Oh shit, dude. The bear. Was that even legal? Oh my god. This movie took a fucking turn. Can she move her body? Can she paralyzed? What happened? Feeling done. Mm. Does it hurt much? 
Don't hurt at all. Is it because she's paralyzed? Where's Frankie? He's out there talking to the doctors, probably telling them how to do their job. <laughs> Into my spinal cord, still broken. <gasps> Never be able to fix it. So she. She froze in like this the rest of my life. Holy fuck, dude. I suspected. I shouldn't have dropped my hands. I shouldn't have turned. <laughs> Always protect myself. Retrospect, darling. You couldn't have known what she'd have done. It's so sad. This movie took a turn. It's your fault she's lying in there like that. What? She kept after me until I trained her. I knew I shouldn't have done it. Her being a girl and all. He can't blame anyone. Doctors around here don't know squat. That's why would they be living out here in the desert? <laughs> Find some place where they've actually studied medicine. <laughs> you just rest there. Oh. She has no choice but to rest there. Frankie must have called every hospital in America looking for somebody who would tell him they could fix her. Oh, wow. Well. We got nurses for that, you know. This is just so heartbreaking. And the fact that she said that, Frankie, you're all I've got as well. Like, where's her family right now? She should have spent that money on her own house. We made the six hour trip by ambulance. That's gonna cost a lot of money. Hi there, drive back. Oh, my God. They did it. Oh, that's dark. Took several hours every day to get her ready for the wheelchair. Oh, I can't take this. I can't take seeing like this. She couldn't breathe on her own. She couldn't breathe. Her respirators were always on. Holy fuck. Oh, God. Going through these. Maggie's mama called to say they were all coming for a visit. Oh, not that's nice. The window every day for the next two weeks. Oh, that's not, not so nice. Frankie finally tracked them down. Learned they checked into their hotel six days earlier. Wow. What a shady family. I like it here. In fact, if you weren't here, I'd come here anyway to read my books. <laughs> I can bullshit. I'll never quit. I think because I could see you there real easy with your books and lemon pie. True. How about you? Would you like to go live in a cabin? I could learn how to bake. Oh, two of them together. It's just so sad. I feel overwhelmingly sad. Finally. Finally! Jesus, Universal Studios. Are they fucking I, I joking? Think, uh, don't you think you ought to go back to the hotel and change? She's right? Been here. We got business with my sister. Why don't you just tell us where she is? Business? What do they want with her? You're hiring and washing. It's kind of greasy. Now they're being nice to her. It's, uh, it's uh, just some kind of legal thing. What the fuck? Mr. Johnson's charging us a lot of money to be here to make sure this is done proper. What the fuck? Hey, old man. You part of our family? Yes. If you assign your assets to your mother, no one will be able to touch them. Doctors, fuck no that. Funeral. I'll just read it to her later on. Mr. Dunn, with respect, this ain't your business. Mr. Dunn. Wow. He was just trying to protect her. You being a good daughter, Mary Ann. In your old opinion, she gotta do it with her teeth, Mama. You gotta put it in her mouth. This is disgraceful. You lost, Mary Ann. Don't wanna lose the rest of what you got left. Fucking hell. Mama, you take Mardell and JD and get home. Good. You never sign those house papers like you're supposed to. Mm-hmm. So anytime I feel like it, I can sell that house from under your fat, lazy hillbilly ass. Ho, ho, ho! And if you ever come back, that's exactly what I'll do. What a shitty family. Just cringe behavior. I would honestly sell right now. Oh, shit. That's painful. She can't feel it. We might have to lose it, Maggie. <sighs> oh, my God. Another return to sender. Man, life is too short. I don't know what problem they have with each other, Kate and Mr. Dunn, but whatever it is, it needs to get resolved. And also, what year is it? Can't you just pick up the phone and give her a call? It's gonna be all right here. I always hear your voice, Bob. So sweet. Clint Eastwood, I love you. I just love you. I've only seen two films you've made so far, but I fucking love you already. You're the meanest man I ever met. <laughs> With you. <laughs> Ouch. You remind me of my daddy. Oh. Well, he must have been a very intelligent, handsome man. <laughs> I got a favor to ask you, Bob. Remember what my daddy did for Axel? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Kill her. No fucking way. That's my. Don't even think about that. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, God. They used to tell me I'd fight to get into this world, and I'd fight my way out. 
I'm letting the lie here till I can't hear those people chanting no more. Oh, his eyes. Please don't ask me. <laughs> I'm asking. This is hard. I can't. That's it's it's tough. It's I mean, I see her point, but what a, what a thing to ask someone that loves you. What a thing to ask. It's, it's unimaginable. Is it Kate? Did she kill herself somehow? How is it possible? You know, the maggot found her own solution. Jesus, how? She'd be the time. Oh, now she can't talk either. Is she going to swallow the blood? to put her to sleep <laughs> fuck hell <sighs> this i'm just speechless she'd ask why this and why that do it her own way anyway <sighs> oh he's crying stop i just now she wants to die i just finished and i just want to keep her with me You step aside, Frankie. You leave her with God. She's not asking for God's help. She's asking for mine. Exactly. I don't want tears to fall anymore. Maggie walked through that door with nothing but guts. No chance yeah. in the world of being what she needed to be. Yeah. Who did that? Yeah. And you know what the last thought is? I never got my shot. You gave Because it. of you, Maggie got yeah. my shot. I'm going to get a cup of coffee. I think he's going to do it. More cush love. Means my dog. I can't, I can't. There's just so many moments in this film. It's just so, my darling, my blood. He's going to go to jail for this. I can't believe this. Oh, shit. That's it. Her lights are up. This movie has made me cry so many times. It's insane. Then he walked out. I don't think he had anything left. I don't understand. How, how is he going to... He's gonna go to jail, isn't he? I got to thinking what you said, Miss Scrap. Anybody can lose one fight. Go on, put your gloves on. You missed a lot of training. <laughs> oh. Frankie never came back at all. Wow. Quit boxing. That's enough to traumatize you for five lifetimes. What he had to do. Frankie didn't leave a note and nobody knew where he went. Well, yeah. I mean, I'd hoped he'd gone to find you. Kate. She's writing it to Kate. No matter where he is. I thought you should know what kind of man your father really was. What did he do to Kate? What did he do? Wow. No one warned me how depressing this film is. Plus, I've not really had friends talk about this film to me before. Like I said, I went into this really blind, just thinking it's a boxing movie. I feel like it's more of a boxing movie than the Balboa films because you actually get to learn about the technique through the narration that Morgan Freeman provided. You get to learn about the technique when Frankie is training Maggie. And that's the difference with the Rocky films. They were just training montages with the music. It's super inspiring, but you don't really get to learn about boxing as a profession, what it means to be a boxer. This had more detail in it, which I actually liked. I actually liked that. The first, I don't know, 30 minutes of the film, it's a little bit of a funny movie because you see this lady who literally, she can't even hit a bag properly. She can't even hit a bag and she's 31 as well. She's not young. Like Mr. Dunn said, you wouldn't train to be a ballerina at 31. And so you think this lady, she doesn't really have a true chance. It's only when Frankie starts to train her that you start to have really high hopes for her. And they build up all of this hype around her, her potential, the way that it only took her a year and a half to start fighting professionally. All of that's really inspirational, really motivational. It's just astounding that she can do this. It's astounding the amount of determination, motivation, endurance, willpower that this woman has. And you really root for her. And then in one second, all of that is just taken away. And you get to the hour 30 minute plus point in the movie where no one prepares you for the depressive content that the remaining half of the film is 
and it's so depressing. It, it's a tearjerker. In the first half of the movie, I'm wondering, oh, I wonder why they didn't make a million dollar baby too, like with the Rocky franchises. I wonder why they didn't do that. They probably could have done that. That'd be an interesting idea with a female boxer. They could have franchised this. That's what I'm thinking. And then we get to that point where she cracks her neck and it hits me. I'm like, oh God, that's why this is a standalone film. I understand now because, you know, she cracks her neck. You don't know if she's paralyzed until she says that, oh, I got the doctor to tell him about my condition because I didn't want to be the one to tell him. And that's the point that you, you're just like, holy shit, her career is over. And this woman, she doesn't have an education. She comes from trash, as the narrator said, and this is all she really wanted to do. So it's really difficult. I just want to say that the acting in this film was just beyond anything that I expected. Hilary Swank, this is the first film that I've seen her in, and I'm surprised that I haven't seen her in anything else because she just carried that movie. She was incredible. I could feel her pain. I could feel her struggle. I could feel her motivation, how much she wanted it, how much she wanted a shot. I could feel all of that with her presence in that role. Morgan Freeman, I always love when I see Morgan Freeman in films. I mentioned this during the reaction, but he just makes me feel warm and fuzzy. And him as the narrator too, of course. I loved it. I loved him. And Scraps and Frankie really just needed each other. And I didn't know that their friendship went so far back until Scraps and Maggie were having the conversation at the diner where Mickey was also present. But you start to learn why Frankie didn't want to go all the way with Willie because he felt responsible for Scraps' eye and he wasn't even his manager. So you start to learn and then when he finally takes a chance and the narrator said Frankie did something that he doesn't like doing, he took a chance. And so he takes that chance and you can see the moment he talks with Scraps at the hospital, you can see that regret in his eyes. He has eyes that can just tell a story. He really does. All of the acting was in his eyes because for a lot of the time he was mostly just keeping it together. He was quite tough. He was quite hard. And even in front of Maggie, he didn't want to lose composure. He always wanted to be strong for her. And when he starts crying in the church, it's heartbreaking, man. It's just so heartbreaking. I am astounded by him as a director, filmmaker, but also as an actor, because he brought me to tears. Towards the end of the film is just when I could not stop crying. We get to one emotional scene, finish my crying. Then they hit you with another scene that's just as emotional, crying again. It just hits you in the feels constantly. And that speaks to the writing, the way these characters were written. It speaks to the directing of this film. It speaks to the producing of this film. And as I said, the first Clint Eastwood movie that I actually watched was Gran Torino and I absolutely loved that. And now this is my second Clint Eastwood film and I absolutely love this. So I think that Clint Eastwood is incredible. Like I fucking love Clint Eastwood and I don't know why it's taking me this long into my life to discover Clint Eastwood. I feel bad for my younger self, but you know, it's never too late. It's never too late. This movie taught us that you could start at any age, doesn't matter, it's never too late. And that's what I'm doing here with my channel. I'm watching all of these movies I've never watched before in my life and it's never too late. <laughs> I'm still really happy that I watched it now, regardless of how long ago it came out. I think the fact that I was able to watch this now with all the films that I have watched on this channel, I can appreciate it more because there are definitely some stuff on my channel where I'm like, oh, I didn't like that movie as much or, oh yeah, that was an okay movie. That was a popcorn movie, but it wasn't like top tier. You know what I'm saying? Like this is top tier movie level. I loved it. I absolutely loved this film and it just had an amazing cast, even the smaller roles as well. Jay Baruchel was really random, but he was the comedic element in this film for sure. And Frankie's bluntness is pretty comedic as well. In the beginning of this film, he just would not give Maggie a chance at all. And the way he interacted with her is just, it's a little bit funny. This movie is completely unexpected though. I did not expect it to take such a turn like that. I wasn't expecting to cry in this film. I was expecting a boxing movie, an inspirational boxing movie where Maggie wins and claims the title and everybody's really proud. It was a complete plot twist for me, one that I did not see coming, even though there was foreshadowing in this film, the way she said that she wants to fly there and drive back, the way she talked about Axel in the car 
foreshadowing. Lots of foreshadowing going on, but I didn't see it coming. It also raised a pretty tough question. I think this film did a really good job at making you feel uncomfortable because it's a tough question. You love someone, but they're in pain. Living is killing them. And he had to make the toughest decision of his life, pretty much. He had to make the toughest decision of his life and he gave her mercy by ending her life. She t tried herself many times, failed many times. And after seeing her go through all of that, I think that's when he actually started to properly consider what she had asked him to do for her. Before that, it was a hard no. But seeing her constantly just try to take her own life, not only is that painful, but it also is painful to realize that this person that you love is probably going to keep trying at their own life because they hate it so much here. And they can either do it painfully and repetitively, or they can get help and they can go out peacefully. And I think that's what he wanted for her. He wanted her to to not be in pain anymore. She's already in a lot of mental and emotional pain, but he didn't want her to constantly be in physical pain. The way she was ending her life or attempting to end her life, it, it's quite painful. It's quite bloody. It was quite gruesome. So he didn't want that for her. And ultimately, I think he did the right thing. The thing is in some places in the world, I think it's Switzerland that you can do euthanasia. Rest of the world, no, not so much. It's it's illegal. In most parts of the world, it's illegal. So what he did was illegal. So understandably, he went MIA and nobody saw or heard from him ever again. But regardless of the law or religion or anything else, he did give her a mercy. We do that for animals. We put them down when they're in pain. It's just a little bit complicated when it gets to humans and human life. It is a moral dilemma and it's very difficult. It's hard to say what I would do in that situation. It's hard to say what any of us would do until we're put in that situation, which nobody ever really wants to be put in that situation at the same time. So yeah, it did raise quite an interesting and tough question. One that nobody should ever have to deal with or be asked of but god damn it was hard i want to think that he bought iris diner we didn't see him actually at the diner we just cut to the diner and so we can only assume that maybe he did buy that diner and he's living out their dream maybe i don't know i i think that would be really sweet but i think that if the authorities find him then he'd probably go to jail for assisted suicide i don't know i don't really know the law around that in america but uh, it's definitely illegal here in Australia where I live. I also wish that they resolve the mystery around his daughter. And I really wanted to know what he did to his daughter to make his daughter hate him so much to shun him from her life. It's unfortunate we didn't get that answer, but also the fact that he didn't have his daughter in his life and the fact that Maggie didn't have her father in her life anymore. They filled each other's gaps and that's why they loved each other so much. They were the only people in each other's lives it just made it even more painful. So overall top tier movie, S tier. It was incredible. I loved it so much and i'm so happy that after i posted my gran torino reaction and my rocky reaction that this movie actually got suggested to me so to the people that suggested it for me thank you so much incredible movie do let me know what you thought of this film in the comment section below do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it really helps my channel out the uncut version is over on patreon you just need a copy of the film so that you can watch it along with me there will be a timer so that we're watching it at the same exact time down below in the description bar, you can also find my two other channels, my vlogging channel and my gaming channel, as well as all of my social media handles, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, Discord, TikTok, Facebook, all of that is linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone. Mm -hmm.